back with another hey guys back with another video doing a quick test at the DGI's new um, simulator that they just came out with not too long ago uh, it's pretty neat it's got some cool features and stuff in it uh, we're gonna be testing it out we're gonna be going through the different modes we're gonna be seeing like um, there's apparently there's a skill trainer, free flight, um, some other different modes you can try doing in there. All in all, it's a pretty good app. I kind of like it. Um, you get a, you get a good feel of you know the different type of drones that you maybe that you don't own or you know that or you just may want to get the chance to fly on a day where you might not be able to get outside and try. It's a good alternative to uh, flying um, to just basically for like new pilots and stuff trying to you know, build skills and learn how to fly. It's the next best thing probably to actually flying, though I recommend probably getting out in the field and trying the real thing, because nothing's like really actually flying the real thing. But all in all, this seems like a pretty good app. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try a couple things here and there. And like I said, it's it, graphic-wise, it's pretty good. It's got pretty good graphics, and the field forms and the, the different camera views have been pretty cool as well, so. Oh no, here, here we go. We're going to give it a little shot here and let me know what you think. With any of the controllers, if you like. It doesn't matter. And you can use it with any of the drones. Try right now just to do this couple things here. We're going to try doing the free flight. And here we go. We're going to just do basic free flight mode and check this out. Let's we'll see how this goes. Here we are entering the free flight mode. We are using the Mavic 2 drone. Uh, this is just basic maneuvering and just regular procedures. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. Uh, there's a lot of other modes in this in this simulator as well that I'll be trying to get to probably in a second video here. Uh, just kind of getting the basics here. Uh, like I said, this is just the basic uh, free flight mode. Uh, all in all, like I said, this app is pretty cool. It's got a lot of uh, functionality and a lot of versatility for new pilots and for people that are also learning to for their part 107 license as well. And a lot of like, um, if you're running a business and stuff for mapping and everything else. All in all, it is a pretty great, good app. Kind of like it. Uh, like I said, here's the uh, we're just taking a quick spin here to the free flight mode just to check out how how this works. We'll be using the the Mavic 2 series of drone. Like I said, you can choose from many different drones. They give you a lot of the basic information on them and stuff like that about all their different characteristics and stuff and um, you know all in all but so here we go right here as you can see we have the Mavic 2 series drone uh, drones you know mix and match whatever you like so basically it's the same way as it would be with any regular drone that you would fly you would just hold the sticks in and it would start the motors as though like this. So it's a really real, gives it that real formality of how, you know, how you would really fly in the real, in the, in the real world. So as you would do is like, before you would just pull up the throttle like normal. So you get your just lift off like this. And it really does have a really good feel to it. That's what I like about it. It really gives you that feeling, you know, of flying the real drone. Because when you do, you move your cameras up and down the same way you would as in the real deal. So here I'm going to take it out. We're going to take a little flight. Now this is from the drone's perspective. There are different camera views you can switch to within this. Um, this is the default when it comes up in. There's the, um, from my perspective, from the controller like that, where you have a... Um, uh, just showing the tablet or smartphone, whatever you'll be using, just like in the real world, showing the, the app and all of its settings and stuff. You can also um, switch other camera views to say just looking at the onboard screen. This is a really good one 
So they kind of give you that FPV feeling of how you will if you were actually looking at just the game, the game at the controller. So here I'm just going to take it up a little bit. We're going to go up here and we'll we'll take her out a little bit and see what happens. Like I said, I think you can pick different terrains and stuff as well too. There's um other different courses and stuff you can do and land so it really does give you a good point of field of how to the flying the drone so like i said you can really learn a lot of different maneuvers and stuff and going in and out of things like there's the power line so we're going to take it over here a little bit and take just kind of explore out here we'll take it out to this looks like a um some kind of um shed what not, I don't know what it is, but um, we're gonna go fly over here and investigate and look at this. As you say, you got all your telemetry and stuff on the side and your map showing all the same information you would in the run of real during an aerial flight, which is really nice. They really did a decent job on how they um, laid this out and everything. And also, you got your battery life and all your other artistics in the corners, like you would in the real thing. So we're already out almost 600 feet out. Um, I'm just like I said, I'm just gonna kind of take it down. Live computer, you know, with maybe eight gigs of RAM or so. You might want at least a 1080p display just to get the full, you know, quality that you add of this. It's just nothing too crazy though. It's the first I was hearing that was a lot about um, saying that you need a really high end PC to run this, but I don't know. Turns out it seems to work handle pretty good on like this. Like I said, this is just a regular running right now, just 8 gigs of RAM and an i5 processor at 3.2 gigahertz. But um, I'm looking to update this computer soon to probably an i7 something, but nothing more really for to. So there's pretty much that, and I guess you can. I switch these other views. Alright. Pretty much the um, racing mode. I said it's pretty cool. They got some other courses and things you can do as well, but it definitely is a good way to learn how to fly and just have some fun with it. You know, I'm not taking a thousand to the, you know, fifteen thousand or fifteen hundred dollar aircraft and just smacking it in all in real life you can take it in a simulator and just crash as many times as you want not worry about it. not that i condone anybody out there to crash your drone but it's just like you know this is one i guess the one way if you're going to do it it's probably the way you're going to do it let's see if i ever get this right I feel like I should stay up higher in the air and not even go through the rings. Why does this feel so weird? Like, so I'm using a map, not that it matters, but I'm using a, um, a Mavic 2 controller right now. Maybe we can keep practicing. It's a good thing when you practice is to kind of get the feel for it. Whoa. Well, maybe after time, maybe we get better at this. It just feels, it just feels like I, I don't know. Wow. Well, at least I landed back straight up, didn't I? Alright, well, like I said, that kind of concludes this video for now. Like I said, I'll be doing some other videos and doing some follow-ups with that. But like I said, all in all, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's it's got some things I got to kind of get used to with some of the, um, you know, it's not it's as far as just the um, you know the some of the adjustments and stuff on the, on the controller and everything like that, and just trying to get the the feel for everything. But like I said, it is pretty good to the real thing. I think it's good for like I said, pilots that are trying to you know learn how to fly or somebody that may just want to have fun on a simulator like this is another good way maybe 
you know, yeah, I can go out and spend the money, but you still want to maybe fly. I mean, you could even use just your keyboard, which is kind of nice. I'm not that it gives you the same experience. But, you know, it's um, definitely a pretty good app. Like I said, I'll be doing some more um, stuff with it here in the, in the near future coming up. So stay tuned for that. And um, like I said, uh, stay tuned for that. And we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.